Hello, this is Johnny Zabka, Miss Johnny in preschool. These are my really quick tips in five minutes or less of what you will need for preschool. So I've been getting some emails, receiving emails, and I just wanted to let you know what you need for class. So tip number one, yourself. Okay, so bring yourself ready to learn. Some of the students show up in pajamas, some of them are dressed for the day. So the best thing is just to bring yourself. Number two tip is make sure you have some place to write. So if you have a small table for them to sit at or a desk for them to sit at, they can sit at the desk to write. It's great if they also have space to move around. So if they can get down easily and do some movement with us. If not, some of my students do sit in the chair the whole time, but they move their arms or they might pretend to jump by moving up and down in their seat. And that's okay too. It's really what works best for your situation. Okay, and then um, a good, make sure you have a good camera and your audio ready to go, whether it's an iPad, a notebook. Um, if you are having any technology issues during class, I will not be able to help you. Um, it's too hard for me to try to fix that issue for you. I'm not there, I can't really access your computer. It's best to try to get through the class as quickly as possible. Sometimes it's easier to log out of OutSchool, go back into OutSchool on a browser and re-enter and I will let you back into the classroom. Um, and sometimes that fixes the issue right away for the student. If you continue to have issues, um, I still cannot help you. It's best to contact OutSchool and let them know right away that you're having problems and see if someone can help you so that for the next class, um, you're ready to go. Um, I have no idea what your technology issue may be, so your best resource for technology issues is with OutSchool themselves. Um, if it's something to do with the app, um, Zoom app, I might be able to help you like say things like, okay, make sure you turn on this view or that view. It will look like this and um, I can help you with that. But if it's technology and network connections, I cannot help you with that. I'm sorry. Um, okay, so getting on now into the meat of our class. So with our preschool class, the very first thing that we will do on our first day is welcome each other, say hello, find out where everyone is from. If you're uncomfortable saying what state you are from, you're welcome to say we are on the East Coast, we are on the West Coast, um, we are in the Midwest, whatever is comfortable for you. I have a map I pull out, we kind of point around and to see where everyone is from. And then they will need to have um, a pen or like a fat marker dry erase markers are great if you have a whiteboard so i just have a whiteboard like this um, that's also magnetic but it does not have to, theirs does not have to be magnetic mine just happens to be it helps me teach um, so a whiteboard of some sort that they can pick up easily to write on so they can put it down they can write on it and when they're done writing they can pick it up and they can show the teacher um, they have them at the dollar store for a dollar um, if you don't have a whiteboard, a Magna Doodle will work. So if you have a Magna Doodle, I'm, I have a really big Magna Doodle, so I'm gonna show you. So for kids, this is this is a little harder for them to pick up because it's so big. My, this is such an old Magna Doodle. This is my son's Magna Doodle, and he is now in his mid-20s, so it's very old. But a Magna Doodle like this, you can draw on and then they can erase. They make kid size where it's like half this size. Um, that's good if you already have one of those. If you do not have a Magna Doodle and you do not have a dry erase board, the next best thing is paper. Paper works great. So just make sure you take your paper and um, I'm gonna show you an example. This is me using a pencil. Sometimes when you use a pencil, depending on where the kids hold it, you can see it's disappeared. It's hard for, the, for me to see. And I do like to acknowledge that they've written something. So I will ask them to move it closer. And then usually the glare leaves and I can see it. Or if they use a marker or a dark crayon, it's much easier for me to see, even with a even with a glare. So um, that is really good. Um, so those are my top tips to be ready for class. And um, you can have headphones on if you want. Most of the kids do not wear headphones. I just have a select few because they're in class with their brother or sister sitting next to them and they're trying to hear me. Um, 
And then lastly, the a big tip for me is if you need to create, you can make your own whiteboard with a piece of paper, like a couple pieces of paper or cardstock, put it into a sheet protector. If you have one and you have an instant whiteboard, so you can use a dry erase marker on these to draw, and then you can use a tissue to erase. I use my fingers a lot. So you can use a tissue or your hand to erase or an eraser. Um, and then I have the printables. And the printables are great because you can put the printables right into a dry erase sheet. And I have the tracing numbers on one side and the tracing shapes on the other, my daughter's name. <laughs> So um, then you can make a binder for them that they can go through and they can trace um, or they can just hold it. It's really easy. These are easy for them to pick up and show the teacher and then they can trace on here with their marker or they can trace it with their finger. Um, but this makes it a printable reusable over and over. So I just wanted to show you those quick tips um, because that will help you with our class and to have you ready um, as much as possible. So I've, I've just been asked a couple of things, so I just wanted to give you those tips now. I may, me may mention them again, our first class. So thank you for watching, and I hope that helps you out, and have a great day.